Welcome back to Shannon Shares. Here we are, the holidays are here. How many times have I said, oh my goodness, Christmas comes too soon. So how do you get into the Christmas spirit? Go shopping, write cards, maybe wrap presents. Well, what I do is decorate. Right after Thanksgiving, a couple very good friends come over here and they take out all the boxes and put up my tree and put up the wreaths in front of the house and I get going. And by the time I'm finished, I am actually in the Christmas spirit. So I thought you might enjoy seeing my decorations. Well, the first thing you've noticed, I'm sure, is that I am not a professional photographer. Oh, excuse me, videographer. However, I will do my best with a plain old wonderful iPhone. This is the exterior of my home going up to the front door. And already it's getting you into the mood. I can tell. As we, oh, the postage is ready to go out. Well, that's good. <laughs> with any luck, it'll be there for the postman. Entering the door is the front entry little garland and then the big hutch in the living room all sparkly and beautiful for the holidays twinkling lights on a timer oh these leds are magical we will pan over to the christmas tree which i've now had for years and it contains all kinds of very nostalgic ornaments since i go back a few years as well as lovely gifts that I've received from friends and family and a few I've collected over time. And of course we have an obligatory Wonder Woman hanging in the tree. Glorious little girl. And that takes us over to the grand piano where I keep my Christmas village. This is so sweet, and I love putting this up with the snow. Reminds me of my childhood in Chicago. Inside these little babies, you see families, and you see all kinds of critters on the snow in the town, little puppies and all kinds of things. People selling their wares. And this is the Lakeside Lounge where people are going out to dinner. Pretty good. <laughs> I just love this. And from here, I take you into the dining room. And in the dining room, we have two things right there on the table. One is my chandelier with the garland. And right below it is the sweetest little reindeer family. Mama and daddy and little baby reindeer. In that same room, I've got a big stuffed bear that my dog just went nuts over when he was a puppy and kept taking these little beads off of the bear. So this is what's left. And then over to the credenza, I have Santa, who used to have reindeer in front of him, but they got pretty beat up over the years and I have yet to replace them. So we do the best we can without reindeer. Then into my kitchen, I have the sweetest little nativity set. My daughter bought me these cute little figures in Mexico. And then a good friend built the barn. How good can friends be? Then into the den, I have a collection of nutcrackers. And as you can see, it was definitely time to stop collecting. I hope you have enjoyed this as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you. So if that helps at all put you in the Christmas spirit, I am delighted. And you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.